Chapter 9 One day David began wondering if anyone in Saul's family was still alive, for he had promised Jonathan that he would show kindness to them. He summoned a man named Ziba, who had been one of Saul's servants. Are you Ziba? the king asked. Yes, sir, I am, Ziba replied. The king then asked, Is anyone still alive from Saul's family? If so, I want to show God's kindness to them in any way I can. Ziba replied, Yes, one of Jonathan's sons is still alive, but he is crippled. Where is he? the king asked. In Lodabar, Ziba told him. At the home of Mekir, son of Amiel. So David sent for him and brought him from Mekir's home. His name was Mephibosheth. He was Jonathan's son and Saul's grandson. When he came to David, he bowed low in great fear and said, I am your servant. But David said, Don't be afraid. I've asked you to come so that I can be kind to you because of my vow to your father, Jonathan. I will give you all the land that once belonged to your grandfather, Saul, and you may live here with me at the palace. Mephibosheth fell to the ground before the king. Should the king show such kindness to a dead dog like me? he exclaimed. Then the king summoned Saul's servant Ziba and said, I have given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul and his family. You and your sons and servants are to farm the land for him to produce food for his family. But Mephibosheth will live here at the palace with me. Ziba, who had fifteen sons and twenty servants, replied, Yes, my lord, I will do all that you have commanded. And from that time on, Mephibosheth ate regularly with David as though he were one of his own sons. Mephibosheth had a young son named Micah, and from then on all the members of Ziba's household were Mephibosheth's servants. And Mephibosheth, who was crippled in both feet, moved to Jerusalem to live at the palace.